This winter we are upgrading our rooftop tent trailer, we are adding a pull-out kitchen for our setup, and we are adding a new water source. We've got the Dometic jug and along with the faucet, and we're going to go over each of these features. Our current water setup consists of two buckets. We used foot power to get the water up and out, but we want to have something that is instantly ready to go. As usual, we'll have all the links for everything we're going over in the description below. Let's talk about the jug. It's hard to believe this, but Greg was super excited about this. Yeah, I know, weird. Oven liters, what's that mean? 2.9 gallons. What's that mean? When it's full, basically 24 pounds. Nice feature about this is that it's small and but tall. Easy to put into a small space in your car or truck. It feels heavy duty. It's a nice thick plastic. It is BPA free, so food grade. We're gonna be have water in here. We don't want any extra chemicals. The jug has two handles that are removable, but the nice thing is this will be easy to carry when it's full of water. We've got seems like really good straps. They're double velcroed in that, so they can be removed if you need to. It has two notches sculpted out of it so that if you needed to tie this down, straps would fit right there. The top has two openings, so you can fill both. This smaller one actually has this rubber seal that has a little spout opening in it. If you look at the bottom, there's actually a handle. So if I wanted to pour, I could. This rubber does come out, which is a cool feature. So it gives you a bigger opening to fill in. It should be leak proof, but we'll have to test that out. Another nice thing is this larger one where you could take it out and you can easily get inside, which means you can clean it. Cause my whole hand fits in there. So I can actually be able to clean the inside, which is pretty awesome. Not many can do that. This larger spout opening is where you actually would be connecting the faucet to. This is attached to the plastic, which goes down to the bottom to suck up the water. There is a little air valve, so when the faucet's attached, it will be able to get airflow through. Another thing that's kind of cool is that it comes with an extra spout. The second attachment, can you just take off the cap, add it on there, adjust, and then you have your little spigot. So you can hold it on its side and let the water flow. The faucet, let's see what's all in here. We got our actual faucet, our connection. We got a bag for carrying our charge cable, which unfortunately is not a USB-C and our magnetic plate. It is made from plastic. There at the top is the switch and this is how you turn it on and off. Double tap for on. Single tap for off. There is no master off switch. So if this thing was connected to the water source, you're driving down the road, something hits it, that could be problematic. We'll have to test that out. There is a light feature. So when it is on, it lights up. Off, the light goes off. The battery is rechargeable. We have our little flap here at the back for your charge cable. The battery says that it will pump 150 liters, which would be about 13 of these jugs. The bottom of the faucet is magnetic. It comes with two bases. We've got there our circular one that has a lip around it, and then also a square one as well. There are two double stick stickers that um, can attach to the base of these, so you can attach them to wherever you want. We're going to be adding the square one to here and so that the faucet will be just sitting on there. The circle plate we will be adding to our kitchen setup. So that way we can move this and add it to wherever we need. Probably like this though. <laughs> the nice thing about this plate is that it has that lip so it won't be able to slide around. Whereas the square one has a little bit more chance of moving. The back has the spot where you're going to be attaching your hose 
This then in turn goes and connects to the jug. This pump is supposed to be self-priming, so we're gonna test that out. <laughs> Not quite centered, but that's okay. Let's attach the thingy. Let's see. <laughs> see, it does slide, so don't wanna be tilting this. Let's go get some water in here and test out the faucet. So it is full and these handles actually are really easy to use to carry. We have our hose. We are going to attach it to the back of the faucet. Slide it on there. I think that it would have been helpful if it had this sort of connector but inside of the faucet, but maybe because of the battery, it didn't work. We're gonna take this end and attach it to the top. Snaps in. This has a little clip, but maybe somehow this is so that you can wrap it up among itself or something. I'm not sure, we'll have to figure that out. Okay, let's give this a try. Double tap. Ah, and there it comes. Off. So that does prove that this is self-priming because we didn't do anything but turn it on. According to the Medic's website, it says that it will automatically shut off after one minute or one liter. So we are gonna test both to get our timer ready. Let's start our engines. We're at 15 seconds. We are now up to 25 seconds and almost two cups of water. 45 seconds, what are we at here? Three, four cups of water and one minute. And we are at, yep, one liter. One liter, one minute. That is a lot of water to be spilling in your car or trailer. So in, if you accidentally get this turned on, so we will be taking the hose off while we are traveling. That would suck. Last thing we need to test is the pouring out of the spout. So we'll detach the faucet. The air valve is still open, so we will unscrew it. We got our handle at the bottom. Let's tilt it over and let's see. Oh yeah, comes out easy. So that would be another good feature to if we did not have the faucet. We're not exactly sure how we're gonna have this in our kitchen slider, but if you guys have any ideas or suggestions, please let us know. Greg is super, super excited about this and it should be a good addition to our setup. Go watch this video next. And if you wanna learn more about us, you can check us out at exploretrekadventure.com and we'll see you next time.